So it sounds good, but let's see if we can spice it up with the harmony we created. Because of our hearts, we all fall down. We all fall down. So as you just heard, today we're creating harmonies in the mix, but before we dive into today's video, I want to give you my vocal mixing checklist. In this 16-page guide, I'm going to walk you through how to take an average or even a poor vocal recording and deliver professional results. The vocal mixing checklist, normally 17 bucks, free for you today with the link in the description. So what if I told you that getting your mixes to stand out doesn't necessarily mean you have to master master tools like EQ, compression, or any other standard mixing tool? What if the thing that separates you is you, your taste, your creativity, and your ear to hear missing pieces in the song and your ability to bring those ideas to life? This is your purple cow. Stick with me. Back in 2003, Seth Godin released a great book called Purple Cow, Transform Your Business by Being Remarkable. Consumers don't care about you at all. They just don't care. Part of the reason is they got way more choices than they used to and way less time. And in a world where we have too many choices and too little time, the obvious thing to do is just ignore stuff. And my parable here is you're driving down the road and you see a cow and you keep driving. Because you've seen cows before, cows are invisible, cows are boring. Who's gonna stop and pull over and say, oh, look, a cow, nobody. <laughs> But if the cow was purple, isn't that a great special effect? I could do that again if you wanted. If the cow was purple, you'd notice it for a while. I mean, if all cows are purple, then you get bored with those too. What marketers used to do is make average products for average people. That's what mass marketing is. The thing that's gonna decide what gets talked about, what gets done, what gets changed, what gets purchased, what gets built is, is it Remarkable. My favorite example of this taught by Seth Godin uses donuts to make the point. Let's say you're driving down the road and you pass a Dunkin' Donuts and then another Dunkin' Donuts and then another Dunkin' Donuts. Maybe you stop, maybe you don't, but there's nothing exciting or intriguing going on here. Now, let's say you're driving down and you see a Krispy Kreme donut shop and that glorious red hot sign is on almost as if it's calling your name. Dang. You're whipping a U-turn at the next light, you're slamming on the gas, you're pulling in for a fresh order of steamy hot donuts and maybe even an ice cold milk to dunk them in. So what's the point? You need to stand out. And while learning to use EQ and compression effectively is important, I would argue that in today's music industry, where most musicians and songwriters have access to record themselves and are doing that, your purple cow will be your ear and what you hear for the song that the song is missing and then having the ability to bring that to fruition. Enter Waves Harmony. Let's say you have a song where the artist has recorded themselves, but they didn't give you any harmonies, and you know that the song's gonna need a couple little lines here and there, some harmonies. For you to hear these punchline harmonies and be able to create these background vocals from scratch is certainly gonna set you apart from the guy down the street who is maybe only focused on getting the sonics right in his mix. All right, let's take a look. Let's dive in and see what this thing can do. So Waves Harmony launches, and just like you might expect from Waves Tune, you can pull up and and select the key of your song. In this case, I know we've got a G sharp, a flat, and I'm gonna go for major pentatonic here. And let's come in here and we'll select uh, generate notes and we're gonna let the system do it for us here. So harmonies, let's go a third, a fifth, and a seventh, and let's see what we get there. Down, we all fall down. Okay, so sounds pretty cool. So certainly something to work with there, but I want to get a little bit more uh, detailed with it. So instead of using it this way, we're going to turn that off and I'm going to come down here. I've got a harmony bus already set up and what I've done is I've put an instance of waves harmony here. I've just left it at chromatic mode uh, because we're going to tell it what to do and we're going to create, we got these uh, MIDI notes down here. The first MIDI note, I just wanted a high and a low, an octave basically. And so I took out my handy dandy MIDI keyboard. Oh, look at that. It's all black and an all black backdrop. You're not going to be able to see it very well. But anyways, got that going. Started playing around with the notes, playing through it, and uh, came up with a super simple little part, which you heard at the beginning of the video. Let's take a listen one more time to that. Down, we all fall down. 
So I just played those notes in, recorded that, drew them in, corrected the timing a little bit with MIDI, and those notes send into Waves Harmony here, which we'll see it show up on the screen. Down, we all fall down. Nice and simple. I did add a little bit of a delay to my ear. Just wanted to pull that back a little bit to offset the lead so you can hear the harmony a little bit better. Similar to using like an offset delay. If you set your delays in tempo with the song, a lot of times they get hidden behind the rhythm of the track. And so you want to hear them a little more, slide them out of time. I did that here as well. And then to spice up this harmony a little bit, we've got real ADT. Throw this sucker out wide. Down, we all fall down. And then here's with it. Down, we all fall down. Use this on almost every mix. Love that plugin. And then, because why the heck not? CLA vocals so that we can get a little more out of this on one track. A little more top, little compression. Throw it to a reverb, eighth note, and then the uh, kind of that Roland Dimension D vibe, uh, like a stereo spreader going on here. So here's without it. Down, we all fall down. And with it. Down, we all fall down. And just like that, we've got harmonies in this track. We elevated it. And don't forget that purple cow. Invest your time into developing these skills, training your ear to hear these certain things. Maybe it's drum breakdowns. Maybe it's uh, filter effects. Whatever the case may be, develop these skills so that you can stand out against the competition. And uh, I hope that helped you today. Hey, a powerful mixing hack is to apply the radio or telephone effect. In this video, I'll show you exactly how to dial it in with more character and help your mix stand out. I'll see you over there.